Should you move back home with your parents in your 30s or 40s? Because this influencer just did that and she's going viral for it. Yeah, let's play the clip from Sarah on. So I'm 27 and I live at home with my parents. And no, it's not because I'm not able to afford to move out or because I'm codependent, but I just don't agree with the culture and pressure to move out once you reach a certain point in your life. Now, don't get me wrong. If you have parents that are kind of a pain to live with, it totally makes sense to move out. But luckily for me, I have the privilege to have pretty chill parents who are very open-minded and quite fun to live with. By no means are my parents perfect perfect and I've gotten into many heated arguments with them but at the end of the day I feel so much happier being able to see them every day and to get through those conflicts with them and yeah to be frank I live rent free I do contribute to the household and pay certain bills but for the most part I'm able to save that rent money and use it to invest in my own finances I'm definitely a firm believer that you shouldn't have to do what everyone else is doing just because everyone else is doing it you know what works best for you and just just disregard what stigma tells you. I know myself and I know I will be thankful for the time I spent with my parents. And to me, that's the type of luxury that is irreplaceable. Boom, I mean, I think immediately, first of all, this sparked a bunch of comments. Some people agree with her, some people disagree with her. It caused a lot of people to reflect on their own situation. I think it depends. And number two, Andrew, her mom looks like an amazing chef. Yeah, so we're gonna break it down. We're gonna give you some things that you need to consider before moving home with your parents. And then also kind of break down just how, even our situation, like, cause it made me think about moving back home. Not that I'm thinking about it, but I did just run that scenario through my brain. Yeah, kudos to Sarah on, man, because that's a good piece of like self-reflective content. So please hit that like button, check out other episodes of the Hot Pop Boys real quick, guys. A note from Smala Sauce. This is our very own chili oil made with truffle with a tingly Sichuan peppercorn kick. Uh, and also it tastes really good on dumplings and pizza. And also tacos, especially put if you put on the guac part of the taco. Tacos, if those were the type of tacos you're eating, it's delicious. Yeah. I mean, I think she has some additional incentive to move, live at home, you know, but I think it's interesting because it really causes you, everybody to examine their own situation, whether they would move home or not in their thirties or forties. Yeah. I mean, honestly, so she's only actually 27 in the video. So honestly, she's not that old. So it's really not that big of a deal, but also, I mean, I think she is like an influencer. She obviously creates a lot of content with her mom. She is very pretty herself. And I think that I'm gonna be honest. I, I and just this is a. I I think a lot of people said this in the comments, but I do think it's a little bit different for a woman to move back when she's 27 versus like a guy live with his parents when he's 30, 35. Right, because moving out for men. And this is like, I guess, across all cultures, but maybe uh, particularly in America, it's almost like a rite of passage, right? Yeah, and I, I'll say this like. I know it is more Eastern to take care of your parents and shout out to those people who do because I'm not saying that's easy and it's very admirable and I hope you enjoy it. But I guess like for a lot of people moving out and making your own home and making your life outside of your home is like a very Western masculine thing to do. Now you can argue whether that's right or wrong. Right. And I do think we should actually appreciate people who live back with their parents you know, and contribute something back to the home. But of course we all know how things work. And not only that though, Andrew, there is starting to be a trend of a lot of millennials moving back home, possibly yeah. due to the uh, rising housing, uh, housing prices, inflation, uh, stagnant wages or whatever. Yeah, I actually, I think uh, quite a number of millennials moved back home during COVID, right? To, because right. Their, their parents, you know, they come from that generation where they literally own the houses. Right. Um, I think that there's a couple questions that you need to ask yourself, Andrew. Do your parents even want you there? Like, yeah. I think that that's just a, a pretty big assumption to assume that your parents want you to be back. Right. Uh, where do they live and how close is it to the things that you like? Because at the end of the day, if it's, unless, if it's like a one-year thing, fine. But if you're going to live with your parents for an extended period of time, you need to know that you got the gym around you. You got friends around you. Obviously, what is their health and mental health, you know? And obviously, if you're going back to help uh, with your parents, like healthcare and stuff, shout out to you. Um, that's not going to be an easy job. So, you know, that's admirable. But I guess like you you do want to think about that, to be honest. Right, they're older. right. What type of social life do you want to live? Like if all your friends live in the city and you're out in the suburbs, is it going to cramp your style? Maybe you don't care. Maybe you're just like in a committed long-term right. relationship. How is living with them going to benefit your goals long-term? Now, if it helps you save up so you can invest money in to differ in your own business, like uh, Sarah on, she said, 
it allows me to save up and I can invest in myself. So right. thank you, mom and dad. That shout out to them. But I guess like you are going to have to run that scenario through your mind, right? Yeah. Let's get in the comment section again, guys. Make sure you like this video. Somebody said, in Chinese culture, you can take your parents in when they're elderly. They took care of you and now it is your turn to take care of them. And other people were saying just in general, in Asia, it is very common to take care of the older generation. Yeah. You know, I think in the Western world, like I said, man, there's something about, all right, Billy, you're on your own and you, you make a lot for yourself. And then Billy's like, dad, I just turned 18. Like, are you serious? Now I don't, I never supported it when I saw my white friends get kicked out of the house at 18 or like right after college. It didn't fully make sense to me that their parents would be so strict on it. Like, nope, you're paying me rent. You're paying me rent. I mean, you know, I guess whatever the setup is, but yeah. it, there's different ways to do the it. The truth is it depends, right? Because somebody said, don't fall for the individualism in Western societies, but that's part of being Western is being individualistic too. Yeah. So, and I think it could be a pro or con because you could get kicked out of the house at 18, Andrew, learn to become a crazy entrepreneur because you're on your own and you start all these crazy businesses, which by the way, happens in America, or you can go get a house with your friends, do a bunch of drugs and start this like spiral downwards in life. Guess what, Andrew? That also happens quite often in America. Yeah, so you know what I'm saying? Like both, it's just a, it's a forced catalytic fork in the road you know yeah my personal feeling is like if you come from a family that you know or you're the type of person that like maybe being a d-gen is not very likely for you and you got big dreams most likely you'll have to move out of the house yeah to pursue because you're your gonna be dreams. like maybe stuck in that adolescent yeah. mindset when yeah. your parents I'm are around and like I'm not saying it's unhealthy for you to live with your parents. If anything, yeah. it is it is healthy. But but I'm just saying if you have huge dreams that require all this these other things, it, you'll probably have to move at some Yeah, point. yeah. But it depends. It depends. Everybody's situation is different. Somebody was saying, Andrew, it is only Northwestern European culture, Anglo culture, Scandinavian culture to move out. For example, even in Italy, the Middle East, Latino countries, people dip, typically do not move out until they get married. That's true. Yeah. No, it is very, I guess, Western European or like, yeah, that Anglo-Saxon, go and explore and conquer the world. Yeah, you know what's really different than I would not do? Because I'm not as Western, obviously, as like uh, some white kids I grew up with. I would never move out of the house, but be in the same city. It's like, you gotta, if you're Asian and you gotta move, it's because you're like moving to a whole different state. Oh, you know, that's like, of course, it's way more logical, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, sure. Um, somebody was saying it definitely needs to be normalized in this economy. Obviously, Andrew, there's a lot of economic things going on right now, whether that's stagflation, mm. inflation, wage, you know, the rising housing prices, getting bought up by BlackRock. How much is it that Americans are gonna need to learn to be like other countries that never broke this frame? That's really interesting that I think in a weird way, like as America becomes more of an immigrant country with more minorities from different backgrounds, that I think that even this trend is gonna increase and maybe even like the white families are, are even gonna learn from this too. Ooh, that's really interesting. Yeah. Um, somebody said, uh, this white lady said, I 100% disagree. You should want to be independent and establish a life separate of your parents. You are delaying adulthood and missing out on a lot. Again, it There's it some depends. truth to this too, though. There no, is no it, is, it is somewhat true, but it depends on who you are. Again, you know? I mean, if you got to support the family and support, if you, because we have a friend in LA who still lives with his parents. He's in his 30s, but he has, he, he spends like, he pretty much gives a family like a third of his paycheck. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, of course, you got to stay with the family. I get it. No, it's it's very, very situational because I've seen everything. Andrew, you know how, like, some families that are Asian, they almost operate like a small clan or, like, a business, mm. you know? Like, people are in and out. Everybody's got to check in with each other, and everybody's, like, business is intermingled. Yeah. But then, like, other people, that, like, for example, like, our family, it's not, it's just not like no, that. No, well, I, I think it's because our family, we don't do business together, like, with our parents. Like, we wouldn't, like, if we move back, what would be the mission of moving back right. together? Because if we had, if I had a kid and I move back with mom and dad or something that would make more sense or like if we were running some type of organization together yeah i mean let's be honest sarah on she runs a mom's cookbook like business it helps it helps definitely give incentivize her all right andrew this is a really interesting perspective this guy said honestly as a chinese american who's traveled the world for the past six years i love the individualism and independence of america yes there are some crazy unhealthy values as well but the fierce independence and assertion of individual expression is something to be deeply cherished i know that it's gifted me so much about how i interact with the world i would never trade it definitely not just for the feeling of feeling financially ahead because obviously you can save a lot of money living at home yeah i mean i mean clearly this guy found so much freedom 
um, in being his own person. And I think that if you have particularly suffocating parents, parents that are very nagging, parents that are not like chill parents, you're to move back, you'll essentially need some form of a chill You mean parent. if your parents are still treating you like you're like 15 telling you what to do or something oh, like man, that, right? It's not going to work. It really depends, man. It's family to family. It not everybody has like the same relationship with their parents, right? Like even our cousins is raised by our dad's brother. They don't have the same relationship either. And you know, mm. that's just the thing. This guy said Burmese American here. Um, you know, we are so happy to live together of a, as a family and we I have no interest of moving out unless there's pressure or time to get married. Yeah. Like I said, you know, some people are really uh, different. Other people, Andrew, have different situations, maybe like health situations mm -hmm. and other things like that yeah i mean at the end of the day listen if you want to live a lit life for yourself if you want to have a social life bring people over hang out uh you, it's going to be easier to do that outside of the home right it really depends man somebody said uh you know we should ha not have the social shame to move out is completely manufactured by capitalism how mm. much is it uh you know i heard it actually stems from under world war ii when housing prices were really cheap and all the soldiers came back and they like i don't know it was just like the economy american economy was Interesting. booming is it capitalism and also the idea of freedom and independence but then why do we want to be independent I don't know. Yeah, I just like I said, man, there's a, a fork in the road, Andrew. Sometimes people, it really inspires them to be like a 10 out of 10 businessman or yeah. entrepreneur, but I've seen it go completely the other, the other way. Yeah, someone said the key is that she has a good relationship with her parents while living with them. That's not always the case. Exactly. Your parents need to be down for what you want to do, and then it's going to work. That's key. Um, Because, you know, old school Asian parents, sometimes they are, sometimes they aren't. This guy said girls will always look down on a guy in the dating phase if he lives with his parents. Any girl that says that otherwise is just lying. And somebody said, yes, but nobody cares that girls live with their parents. They made it a gender yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, th I think it's generally true. Let's be real that obviously a, a woman who's in her 30s that live with her parents, that's not as looked down upon as a dude in his 30s. Well, well let's be honest, Andrew. Aren't they going to just care about how that girl looks at the end of the well, day? Well, yeah, but other things. But I mean, because her living with her parents means she's like a sweet girl, but the guy living with his parents means he's a weak man. That's how it's going to be viewed. I'm not saying that's true. I'm just saying that is how it is viewed in this world. And at least in America. At least in America. In yeah. another country in India, it's probably different because like everybody has that normalized culture. Yeah, because that the whole thing in America is like, listen, if you're a strong man and you can make it on your own and make something of yourself, you're going to build a life of your own outside of your home but you can still support your parents you could send money back but you're not gonna have to rely on them yeah i mean andrew just personally once we get into our takeaways like i probably haven't lived at home basically since i was like 18 and i'll tell you this it does force you out of your comfort zone and it can force you to rise to those new heights. But at the same time, I knew some people who was like, they were putting a lot of unnecessary strain on themselves for a number of years mm. but sometimes it can really light the fire underneath you because you're like I'm just here to make it. No, like, that's I, all I'm, I'm down here in this other place. I got to make it. I, I think it's just about your plan, man. It's what is, why are you moving back home? And what's your plan? Is it to save money? And are you actually using that money? Or are you just going to use that money, spend it? And then five years later, realize that you had no savings from it. You right. know what I mean? So and it really depends on the industry you're trying yeah. to get into too, right? Let's say, for example, you are writing stories. You may need to be away from your parents to, to gain more perspective and hang out with more people and be in the city to stimulate your brain and your stories. Yeah, yeah, exactly. No, I mean, again, I, I obviously we all know the answer just depends on what your life is about, what life you want to live, and honestly, what your parents are doing. Yeah, so let us know what you guys think in the comment section below. I thought it was a really great piece of content from Sarah on just because it caused so many people to be self-reflective. And uh, until next time, we're the Hot Pop Boys. We out. Peace. Peace.